Windy Woods is a template in Game Maker that has all you need to create your own platformer. It already has a first level built for you and the second level is empty. So let's fill that empty space and build our own level by creating new parts, adding blocks and enemies and while doing that, learning how the room editor in Game Maker works. After you start Game Maker, create a new project and down here select Windy Woods. Give your project a name and click on Let's Go. Your new project will now open and because we used a template which already has content, you can click on this play button here or press F5 on your keyboard to play it. In your project, you will see all the assets that are used here in the asset browser. Levels in Game Maker are created using room assets. This template has two levels and the second one is mostly empty. So we will be building our own level here. Now when you run the game, you have to play it through the first level to get to the second one. And that's gonna result in slow testing when you want to run the game and test the second level that you've built. So let's make it so the second level opens first whenever you run this game. In your asset browser, click on this space next to any room. This will open the room order menu. Here drag the RM level 2 room and put it above RM level 1. Now whenever you play your game, the second level will open first. Now double click on RM level 2 and let's start creating our level. You edit your level in the room editor using Game Maker's layer system. There are layers for various things with different names but basically the icon tells you what kind of layer it is. For example, this is an instance layer which has all the objects in your game like the player, coins and enemies and this is a tile layer containing all of the ground tiles that the player stands on. Now this particular instance layer already has some message instances that are displayed in game which we don't need. So right click on this layer and delete it. Let's now carve a path for our player. Select the collision tiles layer which is the layer that contains the ground tiles. You will see that on the right hand side of your game maker window a new menu has opened up. This shows all of the tiles available to this layer. Select any tile you want from here and put it in the room. Use the left mouse button to paint a tile and the right mouse button to erase them. To move around in the room, hold the middle mouse button to pan and scroll your wheel while holding control to zoom in and out. If you're on a laptop's trackpad, you can enable laptop mode from here and then hold alt to pan and control to zoom. Now after you're done placing, run the game and your new tiles will be there with complete collisions. The collisions are there because this template already has the required code for the player to interact with these tiles. Now manually placing each tile is fun but it gets a little tedious especially when you have to place the corner tiles manually and edit the existing ones to merge them into your new tiles. Auto tiling makes this much easier. In the tiles menu go under libraries and select the normal auto tile. Now just use the left mouse button to paint your tiles and you can see that it automatically handles which tile to place where and it also edits the existing tiles so they nicely merge into your new blocks. The auto tiling libraries also have to be set up manually but this is already done for you in this template. You can use the right mouse button to erase the tiles using the same auto tiling tool. So go ahead and using this auto tiling tool create a small section in this level. You can even create underground areas by erasing tiles using the right mouse button. Now the underground parts here are looking unfinished because there's no background there. Let's fix that. Select the cave tiles layer and then under the tiles menu, select this cave tile. Then up here to make filling it easier, select the rectangle tool. And now using this tool, fill in the section behind your underground parts. Now for a final touch, 
select this tile and then up in the tools menu choose the line tool and in the room place these tiles here so that the cave section blends nicely with the overworld so that's your level ready the player can walk and jump around and try to reach the end but of course the level itself is empty right now we'll fill that in very soon so working in the room editor you can see how everything is placed in layers and the order of the layers also matters for example the cave tiles layer is below the collision tiles layer which is why it appears behind it when you're creating your own game you'll get to decide what layers you create and how you order them now let's fill in our level by using objects the instances layer is where we'll add our objects like coins enemies and blocks then in your asset browser open the objects group and here you'll find a bunch of objects that can be placed in this instance layer for example i'll go into environment items and select obj coin drag and drop this into your room and there you have a new coin in your level there is a simpler way if you want to place multiple coins at once select the obj coin object or any other object you want to place and then on your keyboard hold alt or option and then just start painting with your mouse i'm gonna add in some coins using this technique then there are also blocks in the asset browser that you can add to the level so i'll add some here and also some here and under characters and enemies you'll find an enemy object called obj enemy one so let's add some of those as well now run the game and there are your new instances the level really feels much more alive now if you followed any of the other windy woods tutorials and added a jumping enemy checkpoints or jump through platforms you can go ahead and add them to this level but if you haven't you can find those tutorials on this channel or find links to them in the description this end gate layer contains only one instance which is this end gate where you finish the level so if you make your level longer you can simply move this instance and place it where you want the level to end and if you think that this room is too large or too small you can always resize it in the room settings down here now before publishing your game for example to gx games make sure to set the room order properly so it goes to the menu then to level one then level two and so on and if you want to add a third level just duplicate your second room and change it up then make sure it's all laid out properly in the room order now go ahead and develop the second level further watch this tutorial to improve your game further and i will see you in the next video